Hello and welcome to The Green Door Life. My name is Shannon Morse and we are bringing this collective experience to you all called Chrysalis, a collective metamorphosis. And we've collected master presenters and coaches from around the nation. And so we are giving you a little taste of who they are in the world and what gift they bring to the wellness community. So today I am here with Ina and Ina is, I took, actually took my first lesson from her yesterday much harder than I expected, but so fun. And I'm excited about this, this being part of the Chrysalis event, because dance is something that whatever mood you're in, whatever's going on in your life, you are always going to feel better after you've implemented some sort of dance into your practice. So welcome, Ina. And can you share a little bit about with us who you are and what you do in the world right now? Hi, I am so excited to be part of this program. It sounds amazing. Um, I am a dance instructor and I work with all sorts of people. I work with kids starting at the age of two all the way through adults in choreography, dance and dance cardio uh, training. So I, um, I kind of started at a really young age. I, I've been teaching since I was 14 um, through assisting programs and and various uh, different summer camps. And my favorite part of it is um, kind of everything that you just said. It's about um, making someone's day just that much better. Um, I think the 30 second dance party concept is so, it works so well because it's so true that as soon as you start dancing or implementing any sort of movement in your day, you just feel better. Um, and I think uh, it's really fun to see that in kids, it's really fun to see that in adults who um, find their inner kid in your class. Um, and it's really cool to watch people try something difficult and then after an hour feel really great that they have achieved something so difficult. Um, and so there's so many parts of it um, that I love. Uh, and it's cool to be a person who is able to facilitate that happiness. So I think that would be my like grounding kind of light in, in what I do is just to hopefully facilitate the happiness through movement um, for my students. Oh, I love it. And when you said 30 second, what, what was that term you just used? 30 second. Oh, 30 second dance party. It's something um, <laughs> I, I use it so often in conversation at something my friends and I joke about all the time. Oh, you know, you're having a bad day. 30 second dance party, even if we're not in the same room. I think it's, I think it's from a show. Um, but it just, it started coming up in conversation. And so now I even use that with my students. Um, you know, oh, you're having a bad day before warm up, just 30 second dance party. We're just going to move, um, whatever you want. And I think, um, yeah, it's just, it just is part of that whole concept of let's just move. Let's just feel like happy. I love it. I love it, especially from like an energetic standpoint too, because sometimes when you're having a bad day or you're you're like holding any sort of like uncomfortable emotions in your body. If you just start to move, you start to immediately feel better and those emotions are lifted. So, so that's perfect. And I didn't even know that was a concept, but it makes so much sense. <laughs> I love it. Um, and I also really appreciate how you were pointing to the confidence building over the course of an hour, because I can relate to that. And in terms of strength training, but when you give yourself some sort of like new modality, especially when there's choreography involved and in the beginning, you're like, oh my gosh, like, oh, this is hard. Like I'm not getting it right away where so many things in our life right now are instant gratification and instant delivery. Uh, and so when you have to actually apply yourself and force your brain to do something new and then see that, yes, you are capable of doing it within an hour or within a couple of weeks or whatever the time period might be, there's this beautiful sense of like, oh, if I can do this, I can do a lot of other things too. Yeah, so, um, uh, not to cut you off, but I, I feel so strongly about that. I think um, just in my own life, like, and I'm still learning and it's something that I work on all the time. It's okay, how can I... Um, support my confidence? How can I support my happiness? Because it's not something that like you just have. And if you have it today, you know, something may happen tomorrow, like what's happening in the world right now. And you totally are, are kind of thrown for a second. And you're like, oh, maybe I don't feel as confident today as I did yesterday. And I think that these, these things like meditation, fit, like training, um, dance, 
they just continue to support that throughout your life because you are constantly being challenged um, because these are not things that you ever graduate from, right? You are constantly learning until you can't physically move anymore. There's going to be a new step for you. There's going to be a new program. Um, And I think it's especially important to me um, in kids because I feel like I, I wish that I had learned that at a much younger age and it's really heartwarming to see that um, in adults who similarly to me are just learning it now or like just in the past few years. Um, And it's such a small thing that you could do for yourself because in a routine that's super difficult, let's say like yesterday when we were dancing together, maybe there's one move that you come out of it feeling like, oh my God, I finally got it. So you don't have to get the whole routine. You just have to get that one step and then your journey is already jump-started. Yes. (laughs) Yes. <laughs> um, it reminds me so much of uh, trapeze as well. I can't help but relate it. It's like you'll work so hard for an extended period of time to just get this one thing down. It's like this micro detail where you can reflect on yourself and say, oh, I want to do that a little bit better, a little bit differently, or I want to mirror the instructor or whatever it might be. And it might take you a little while, but when you find that one thing, now you're just refining one area and then you're refining multiple areas over a period of time. And just that practice of being able to like release judgment and just look at it as a refinement process and also to be enjoying what you do is such a cool space to provide for adults and kids and I absolutely love that because it's such a valuable practice for kids I so agree yeah I um I feel like I could talk about just that one topic all day (laughs) it's such a wonderful thing I agree (laughs) we're like we could talk about it but we're not gonna spend the whole time talking about it but yes it's like so incredibly valuable Okay, so moving into like, we're, we're here, it is April 9th, and I think we're just at the end of week four of practicing shelter in place, at least in the Bay Area. So what I'm curious about is looking at like these pillars of health that we were talking about before, when you look at dance as like one of your pillars of health, how does that impact? Like, how do you use that? How do you feel with that being one of your pillars as you go through this time? Um, totally. I think I would even argue and say that that's a pillar that's just always been with me. And I'm so grateful that it's been with me, um, especially during this time. Um, it grounds my day because our day today is so it's become kind of mundane and similar. And it's hard to tell, like, is it Monday? Is it Sunday? Like, I don't even know what day of the week it is. I didn't even realize it was week four until you just mentioned it. Um, but having, that structure structure of like, okay, I'm going to teach these classes in this new, in this new medium. I'm going to connect with certain people on these days that kind of gives you um, consistency and a schedule, which I think is really important in times of distress. Um, The physical element of it, it obviously is going to increase your mood throughout the day. Um, And I can tell, I can tell if I'm not teaching on the weekend um, during this time versus on a weekday, maybe where I have a class, that my mood is just better. And it, and it kind of carries me through this, um, that confidence that we, we both were so, we were both so into just like a moment ago, it's, it, it translates from confidence and movement to, okay, yeah, we, we're going to get through this. Um, and I think that is also, I, it's almost like its own dance pillar. So there's like these two A and Bs. Um, and I think it also helps knowing that you're able to help someone else through the crisis. So I think being able to impart that movement or that education or just the face-to-face interaction in these kind of online classes, um, it's, it's nice. It's nice knowing that you made a kid smile or that, you know, you made, you made a mom's day because she got, she got half an hour to herself that day, you know, so it, it's been really nice. And I'm sure it's been really nice for them too. <laughs> Like it's part of your schedule, but it's already, it's like the, the class yesterday I was totally looking forward to. I kept poking at Jeff going like, we have the class on Wednesday. (laughs) 
And uh, I think at first he might have been like a little, like he's always very open to trying out new things, but he might have been like a little, you know, it's the end of the work day. Do I really want to do this? But his mood was so lifted afterwards. And it was just a testament to your teaching for one. And then just getting your body moving and not having to get it right, like not having to be perfect. Um, going that this is something that's new and we're going to just do our best and we're going to enjoy ourselves and let joy kind of move through our body. And it's just such an awesome thing to be able to share with people and share with partners too, or your kids, you know, do it as a family. Like it's so cool. I think that shared experience is, is really awesome. And especially now when you are at home with your loved ones, um, or even if you're at home with a partner and it's not like a whole family, you, or even if you are alone in your in your place of residence, but you are doing this with a friend or a family member outside, it's this shared experience that you guys can talk about. You can connect um, with that person about. Um, and I think what you said is so true. A lot of times in these in these fitness trainings or dance classes or even meditation classes, it's just getting through the door. And right now we have this really cool thing where we don't actually have to leave. We don't have to open that door. We don't have to leave home. Um, and so the hardest part of class is kind of non-existent. Um, and so it makes it that much easier that if we're tired after, you know, a long week um, or a long day, we can easily take these steps to make ourselves feel better, um, which is really cool. Totally. Uh, I'm feeling that big time, not only like as a practitioner, but also having access to all of these different modalities and a lot of them are recorded, so at which which chrysalis will be recorded as well. So let's say that someone on day one really wanted to have something to eat at that time. Then even if they couldn't make the class, then they can come later and they can enjoy it the next day or they can enjoy the recording. And that's such a unique thing that we're experiencing now, like more of a widespread opportunity. And then we don't have to drive anywhere. <laughs> we can wear whatever we want. Yeah, I mean, that's it's cool that, that, you know, these things are available and recorded and that, um, you know, you can, you are the master of your own schedule. So you get to decide, okay, I, I want to take these lessons on this weekend and I want to take them at this time. And um, I want to do A, B, and C before I take them. And then I'm going to do D, E, and F after I take them. And like, that control in a time of uncertainty where we lack so much control otherwise is so important just to feel safe um, during this time. Yes, 100%. Um, I can't agree with that more. We've talked so much about schedules and just having what I recognize as like pillars of health that are just spread throughout your day, whether it is pillars of mental health, pillars of physical health, pillars of emotional health, um, just to spread them out so that you have these things to come back to that continue to like ground or anchor you throughout the day. And I think everyone will have a different idea of what that means to them and what feels good and provides that resource for them. But I'm so on the same page. Yes. That sense of control gives us like essentially the only sense of safety that we can control right now, which is being a master of our own schedule. <laughs> So it's awesome. I'm so excited to have you for this event. I'm so excited to be able to share your gift with a wider audience because I really do feel like you have uh, obviously a lot of experience as it relates to dance, but I feel like the, uh, the culture of the Bollywood dancing is a little more um, unique and it feels like there's like this very... Uh, resonant joy that lives in it and i think that translates whether it's through the movement or through the culture that's been ingrained into that um i, I feel like it's going to be really fun and, and very very happy for everybody i'm so excited i think you hit it right on the nose i mean as a country we are so diverse in india there's so many different subcultures um we are a people, of course, this is a generalization, but I think it's widely accepted, but we are people of great celebration. Our, any excuse to party, any event that you go to, our weddings, everything has a music and dance element. 
And that translates into our movie industry and that translates into Bollywood dancing. And so that element of we're just going to have so much fun is ingrained in so much more than just the choreography that that's why that feeling comes through anytime you take a class. Mm, so awesome. I'm excited to take more. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for being here today. And thank you so much for being a part of our event. And I'm really looking forward to, again, sharing your gift with everyone and giving them a chance to experience it. And yeah, thank you. Thanks for having me. I'm so excited. I can't wait to dance with everyone. Awesome. Thank you guys for watching. And we will see you on April 25th and 26th for our two-day virtual retreat experience.